firstly, thank you, Chris, for uh, welcoming me back to the campus. Very, very glad to be back. Uh, well, I'm from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I uh, started my um, schooling at ISD in 2010, uh, beginning with grade 10, and I finished uh, my IB diploma in 2013. Um, it was a fantastic three years. Um, after ISD, I went to Vancouver, Canada, uh, to study at the University of British Columbia. Uh, choice of program was geological engineering. Thankfully, I got a full scholarship there uh, based on some recommendations from ISD um, community, uh, teachers, and also the head, head administrator at the time, Mr. Tangi. How did your IB education prepare you for university and even life after university? Um, so the IB higher level subjects, they do require a good level of self-discipline to, to get good grades. Critical thinking is also very uh, is a big component to like almost all all facets of IB education. So for sure, like the, moving into like a North American education system, it was a much easier transition. So yes, I mean uh, those those uh, the teachers were were very knowledgeable, they were kind, caring. So overall, the IB education did help me adjust well with the North American education system. Can you share with us some of your highlights and proudest moments in your time since ISD? Proudest? I mean, uh, there were some very good moments, uh, very, very good moments since, since graduation. Uh, studying in Vancouver, it's a very, very beautiful place. Uh, going to national conference in Montreal, we went to Harvard University to do a presentation. When I was a student, past UBC days. Uh, I spent uh, three years uh, with, a, with a pickup truck F-150, Ford F-150, and then I got dropped off on choppers on various sites. And those are special. Um, there was a European Space Agency satellite dish construction project. Uh, during your time at ISD, did you make uh, any connections or networking that proved to be uh, very fruitful to your future? Um, well, I found ISD alumni uh, spread across Canada, both in uh, Vancouver and Toronto. When I visited Toronto, I found met, met up with my friends. More recently this year, I met up with five of them in Los Angeles. That was pretty fun. Um, on my way to Dhaka, I stopped in Dubai and met a friend who was doing really, really well. And I was quite fascinated by learning of his stories. So in terms of connections, I think that mainly the friends, um, the friends that I've made in, from, from, from my time here. Teachers are spread around the world. Um, you get to message them occasionally. A few of them reached out to me when they, saw, when they learned that I was in London. Um, no, otherwise, fantastic community. Our grade 10 students are right in the midst of IBDP course selection, kind of a very fun and exciting time. Any advice you would give to our grade 10 students as a part of their course selection process and maybe any advice more broadly you'd give to ISD students? From a very high level, I think um, it would be a good idea to stick with subjects that you feel like are generally curious, curious about uh, as the most, I guess, basic premise as opposed to like thinking about how it's going to fit into like university admissions or career. Stick with maybe the basics of understanding, okay, this is what I want, I enjoy studying, and based on that, make some decisions. Higher level subjects are fairly difficult, so <laughs> pick the ones, HL subjects that you're like generally passionate about. Other than that, um, I guess, such a fantastic school. Uh, we have a community of great teachers, administrators, uh, staff, are all there to support the students. Community projects that you want to implement, then they're all there to help you, so keep an open mind and heart with reaching out to people to for project implementation, and um, everyone's going to be there to support you. A fantastic library, swimming pool, gymnasium facilities, so fantastic place to like learn and grow. First of all, thank you very much uh, to, to you and Ms. Sani Ari for organizing this. Um, it feels really, really good to be seeing, seeing campus. I've, I've walked inside the building today on the previous time. Um, no, I guess fantastic job. Everyone's doing amazing workouts, even finishing up school, and then the teachers, as you said, um, many alumni teachers consider ISD as one of the best uh, schools to have taught. So that speaks a lot about the community. So no, uh, thank you for very much for having me here.